Hi, my name is Matthew Scott. I'm from SHS International, and today I'm going to be speaking to my colleague Marguerite Dietlefs about tyrosinemia. Marguerite, thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you could just give us an overview, what is tyrosinemia? Tyrosinemia is a disorder of um, tyrosine and phenylalanine metabolism. So generally, patients cannot break down these two amino acids in the body, and there's a block um, in tyrosine breakdown. Now, phenylalanine is broken down to tyrosine, and therefore a block just after the tyrosine metabolism or um, the block of the tyrosine metabolism leads also to a raise of phenylalanine. Right, and what are the symptoms people should look out for? There um, are various types of tyrosinemia and they present very differently. Um, some of uh, the tyrosinemia types also have problems with methionine metabolism um, and therefore needs careful monitoring of the methionine. Um, the symptoms varies greatly. Again, growth um, development um, is usually delayed um, and mental development as well. Um, again, these patients, if not picked up at birth by newborn screening, will present um, to the physician in hospital as an A&E case, um, therefore quite severe and would be quite unwell. It's usually neurological disorders. But tyrosinemia patients also can develop liver problems, so um, other organ problems can, can develop as well. Right, so what are the current treatments for tyrosinemia? Um, there's dietary treatment for um, tyrosinemia, but unlike the other amino acid disorders where diet is majority of the uh, treatment, tyrosinemia patients can also take a drug called NTVC, um, which helps with the breakdown of the methionine, which is one of the amino acids that causes the problem um, in the liver and can cause long-term liver failure which is a problem with tyrosinemia patients. So because of um, the use of NTBC, methionine no longer needs to be restricted, in a, especially in the tyrosinemia type 1 patients. But they do follow a diet that's low in phenylalanine and low in tyrosine, which generally means a low protein diet again. Um, in addition to their diet, they take a protein substitute, usually that's free from phenylalanine and tyrosine. In certain countries, NTBC is not part of, of regular treatment for a tyrosinemia patient, and in those countries, patients would actually also require methionine restriction, for which SHS has pro products as well available that doesn't contain um, methionine, in addition to the exclusion of phenylalanine and tyrosine. Right, so the treatments do vary from country to country then? The, the treatment does vary, yes, um, and it, it probably a majority of the treatment actually depends on the availability of the drug of, um, called NTBC. Right, okay. And at the moment, is there a cure? There's no cure for tyrosinemia. Um, the outcome of patients really depends on how early they picked up and how quickly they are treated. Right, okay. Well, thanks for joining me again today, Marguerite. Thank you. Uh, very informative.